Hello and welcome to this course on memory and learning skills. My name is Gregory Karamans. I'm a psychologist with a master in communication and my specialty is the brain. So how is your memory? Let's have a little test right here, right now. In a few moments, you will see an image appear with animals in it. It's a mandala. I'll give you three minutes to remember as many as you can. So take your phone, put your alarm in three minutes, or if you have a chronometer, even better. And then during those three minutes, study the image and try to remember as many as you can. You'll have to pause the video. Ready? Pause now. Go. Okay, the three minutes are up. So how did it go? Did you have the impression that it was easy or hard? Everything is up there? You've memorized it all? Good. So now try to answer my questions and make sure to press pause to have enough time to write down your answers. How many animals were there? Which animals came from Africa? Which ones live in the water? Which ones live in the air? And a big question, write down the name of all the animals so that we can check how many you have remembered. Once you're done, unpause this video. Right, so that's it. You think you've got them all? At least those you remember? Farewell, let's compare with the mandala. Start counting and see how many you have. If you have more than 15 of them, bravo, without a doubt you're already familiar with how your memory works. You know the tricks to retain a list and this course will allow you to improve even more. Now if you have between 10 and 15 of them, that went rather well. Congratulations! Having said that, there are still a couple of things to discover about your memory. Welcome to this course. If you found between 5 and 10 animals, well, it's a start, and everyone has to start somewhere. We've got some serious work to do. Lucky for you, you came to the right place. If you found less than 5 animals, well, apparently you're not aware how memory works and how to make it work for you. Whoa, this is actually exciting. There's a whole new world about to open up for you. Now, the purpose of this course is to offer you an overview of our memory throughout our different periods of life. We're going to explore its evolution during the course of a lifetime. Each lecture will include exercises to improve our memory, advice to help other people, and finally also explanations to allow us to better understand how our memory works. The first section is dedicated to a few basic concepts, the different types of memory and the process of learning. These first lectures will be used to have a common basis and the same vocabulary. Now the course is divided into four parts, childhood, adolescence, adulthood and old age. Part 1. Childhood and memory. Children are a little concerned with memory, yet from the youngest age their brain operates at full speed. It's thanks to memory that a child learns to speak, to move, to act in the world that surrounds him. In this part we will explore several themes. How does a child's memory function? Why do we forget our first memories? How to foster the memory of a child in school and in life. Discover and even create some memory games ourselves. Part 2. The discovery of the world. Memory of adolescence. With puberty a series of changes appear, not only in the body but also in the brain. These changes are also reflected at memory level. Between 10 and 14 years old, the memory of the child evolves into a new version, which foreshadows that of the adult. A teenager discovers gradually the process of memory that will fully flourish a few years later. Now, To illustrate this transformation we will explore the following topics. The discovery of the power of memory and its laws. How to anchor a memory in the long term. And how to find back what was stored up there. Part 3. At cruise speed, the adult. In this part we will explore a series of tips and tricks to remember in a more effective manner. It is here that we will dive deep into the methods of storage. Diving deep also means to better understand the biology of memory, which goes along with it. We will be exploring the following topics. The biology of memory. How to remember as an adult. The hygiene of memory. And different tips and methods for memorizing a list, a story, a number or an anniversary. Part 4. The autumn of memory. We often associate old age with the loss of memory. In reality, things are more nuanced than that. 
There are more fears and myths than a real degradation of memory, provided, however, that we respect certain rules, and that is what we are going to explore in this part. The decline of memory, so what is it all about? And how to keep an active memory? Finally, to wrap up this course, we will retry the experiment of earlier on. We will repeat the exercise of the mandala of animals and see how you improved. If things go right and you apply the things we will have covered in this course, your score should be perfect or really, really close to it. So that's it for now. Whenever you're ready, let's start the course.